a new feature available in the more recent versions of Excel from Excel 2013 onwards is the ability to set up a table, set up a chart and then add a slicer to it. So just to explain a slicer, you'll see if we set up a table I can either go to design and you'll see there's insert slicer or under insert you'll see there's an option here called slicer. If I click on it what it does is it looks at this table and it lists all the columns that are there and we can now choose what we want to see. So for example I'm going to choose destination network and maybe day of the week. When I say OK you'll see it pops up little boxes here. I'm just going to move them here. And what these are are just another way to go and choose. You know, So if I wanted to go here and just look at a certain network I could click there or I could click here. But the power of this in relation to dashboards is that if I choose something here because the chart is connected to the table and the way charts work is if you hide rows it's hidden on the table on the chart. If I choose this, let's go to Vodacom, watch what happens to the chart and the table. So you'll see the table has changed, it's now only showing Vodacom. Notice that the chart has changed and it hasn't left extra areas here or blanks, it only shows what relates to that particular network. If I choose MTN, you'll see it changes. So I'll see much less. Voicemail, etc. I can even go further, I can say I only want to see Mondays. Or Tuesdays. If you want to choose multiple items you can either hold your control button down like that or in certain versions you can actually switch that on and off and it waits for you to choose all of them. If you want to see everything again you switch that off and we can switch that off. So you can create quite a nice chart, have a table hidden and allow the people to click on what they're looking at and the chart will automatically resize and only show the information that's relevant to that person.